Hey everyone, Mariah here, and welcome to another installment of the Iceboxer Workshop. This is the series where I scour the community forums and or the Iceboxer Discord looking for interesting questions, at least questions that I find interesting, that I think others may find interesting as well. I then turn around and I make a video out of them and I show how to configure that particular thing here live on camera for everyone. So in this video, we are going to be talking about Iceboxer menu overlays, uh, specifically the ones that the Quick Setup Wizard creates when you use it in Iceboxer, because I think there's a bit of a misconception here. And, and what's inspired this video is uh, in my WoW Classic demo playthrough, you don't need to watch that video, but in that, when I was configuring things and setting things up, I decided to use uh, an overlay menu and I decided to convert it to just doing clicks instead of sending keystrokes because that's where the that's where that misconception comes from. You are, uh, as an example, you've got this menu overlay here. And at the beginning, as a new player, you are asked to place this over an action bar, right? Well, that kind of gives you the idea that it's going to send a click, but it doesn't send a click. It sends a keystroke instead. And so when people place this over a random action bar there, they might be expecting a click when instead it's going to send a keystroke. So for example, this is the um, standard, just the basic standard one. You'll see that title bar if you open up your in-game GUI. Uh, otherwise there's shift alt and control variations of this same uh, overlay menu. But so again, let's just go with the basic misconception here. We think we're gonna do this spell, right? We think we're gonna perform this spell. If we do, this is what it's going to look like. It's a shield with green fire. And so when I click this, both of my characters should do that. They don't, they don't do that. Instead, they do this spell here, which is bound to my number one key. They do that spell there. So what's happening here is the standard menu was sending one through equals on your keyboard's number row, right? So that's why they do this spell instead of this spell. And so we're gonna fix that. We're gonna convert this uh, menu overlay to send clicks instead of keystrokes. So let's jump into IS Boxer. We're gonna cover some super basics, uh, the super basics of, of menus as well. So in-game GUI toggle hotkeys right here in your character set, as well as if you want to assign or unassign menus, you click on the node with the character set, right, with your character set selected, you click on the menus node and you can just deselect or select the menus that you want assigned and then export those changes. We're just gonna be working with the standard menu in this one. So we're gonna come down to menus. We're gonna look at standard. When you click on any menu, you're gonna have the templates, hotkey sets, button sets, and images over here. Doesn't matter which one you click on. It's all the same information down here in the lower left pane. What we're interested in is that when you click on a menu and then you click here, so if you're down here, you can click back up to here at the top of the tree and you'll see the menu template, the hotkey set, the button set, and the starting position for this for said menu. So if you want to hard code a position, this is where you would do that. Uh, we're worried about the button set, but if for some reason you want to make changes to your menu template itself, like you see mine is a little bit bigger, a little bit more spread out, you would come into whichever template it's assigned to, make changes. Here's some of the properties for your menu itself. So, But uh, we aren't worried about that. We are worried about the button set again. So standard broadcast. We come down here to the button set, standard broadcast. We can see that it is indeed sending keystrokes. So it's being told to do mapped keys inside of a different key map, all the way from one through equals. Of course, shift, control, and alt all have the exact same one through equals, but with the modifier attached to it as well. So if we take a quick look, we take a quick gander over at Combat Broadcast, and we look at the number one mapped key right here, we look at step one, we can see that it is indeed sending the one key to all of our combat action target group, which for all intents and purposes of the basic setup is um, all with current. It's all of your characters. It also does an auto assist and auto interact as well if you have those configured. If you don't, it does nothing. It does neither one of those. Those are just placeholders. Um, I'll show how to set these up as well. So we're going to first send a basic click. Um, and what that means is now we're going to go into custom hotkeys. We're going to create a new map key. So right click on map keys, go to new map key, uh, give it a name. So um, overlay mouse click is a very strong map key name in this case. Go to step one, actions at the top here in the middle pane, right click on it. We're first going to want a sync cursor action. This is going to allow us when we click, it's going to sync all the cursors of our other windows. And so we want a target of all without current. 
and then we're gonna right click on actions again, and we're gonna go to actually all the way at the top here, keystroke actions, just a basic keystroke action. From here, we are going to assign mouse one. This is left click. So you can either click up here in this section, or if for some reason that isn't registering, uh, you will start all the way at the top. Just scroll down this list and find mouse one. If for some reason mouse one or none of your mouse keys are showing up, then you've got an input device issue that you should seek further support for. So uh, mouse one, and of course, your target may be different for what you want to happen here. For this case, for the basic stand up, uh, the basic standard setup, we're just going to use all with current. So that's all of our windows, right? So again, sync cursor to all without current, mouse one to all with current. So there's our one step mapped key. I'm gonna show how to modify this after we first set this up. So because you may, depending on your game, you may have to modify this slightly differently. So now that we've got this mapped key set up, we can come back into our standard broadcast button set down over here. Actually, you know what? We're going to change the way we do this a little bit. So <clears throat> if we look at these buttons real fast, we can see that there's some images applied. So we're going to remember that. So this is zero. We'll just remember this is 40, 40, 40, and this is 60, 60, 60. Just remember that. Zero, 40, 60. Zero, 40, 60 from top to bottom. These are the images that if you look at the menu itself, you can see here that there's a little bit of an animation as I hover over these. And there's also an animation if I, well, it's kind of hard to see when you click because I've got this, uh, that red circle there. But there is an animation when you click as well. So we're going to keep those because if you create, what we're going to do is we're going to select button set. We're going to right click. We're going to do new button set. When you create a new button set, you've got, your buttons are completely unconfigured and so they won't have those images. But uh, what do we want to call this? So we'll keep the same naming scheme here since it kind of lines up and we'll just call this uh, mouse click. So we have a brand new empty button set, right? We can click on the word button, right click on it, uh, make a new button. So before everything, we do want to make sure that the action is on hold. It, it, it will be by default, but just in case you're like flipping things around or you're changing a bunch of settings, uh, I would put this on hold because some of the modifications I'm going to make in a little bit are going to require that this be on hold. So for images, we can select images. And if for some reason this is moved over, we can just do background images. Remember, 0, 40, 60. So 0, okay, 0, 40. You can use the mouse wheel in here if you want to. So 0, 40, 60. Make sure that's checked. If that's not checked, those drop downs will not be applied. So when we right click on the button itself, we get the same list of actions that we do, that we have access to when we're inside of a mapped key. And so we're going to do a key map action. We're going to do a do mapped key action. This is just going to uh, allow us to perform the mapped key we just set up, right? So window current is the target. We, that's fine because we're just passing this through. Key map, where did you put it? I put mine in custom hotkeys. Map key, what did you call it? I called mine overlay mouse click. So now we have a button that does this and it's got the correct images. So we're gonna right click on this button. We've got, we, we need to make a, a button set of 12, right? In this case, we've got 12 buttons on our menu. We wanna make 12 buttons in our button set. So we're gonna come down here, copy button to clipboard. And then if you click on this header here, you can right click and go paste button from clipboard. Or if you're fancy, you can just select it and hit control V again and again, but if you don't try to paste it on here, <laughs> you wanna be up here, because if you try to paste it, it'll kick you out. You have to be in the right spot. You have to be selecting the right node in order to paste it. So we've got six buttons. To make this faster, I'm just gonna right-click buttons, copy all the buttons, we're copying all six, and repaste all six back in, so now we have 12 buttons, right? It's all about saving some time. It's all about saving some time. So every single one of our buttons is going to do just a standard mouse click, right? It's gonna sync the cursor, click the mouse. That's what's going to happen. So now that we've made a new button set, we need to come back up to the standard settings, the standard properties, um, assignments to this particular menu, the one we're working with. We, this button set, we're going to change down to mouse click. If for some reason you don't see that listed there, then just cycle between the menus and you'll see it listed and just refreshes these, pro these, uh, these lists here. So that's really all we need to do. And again, just in this example, you can see that I did hard code this position here, as I showed a moment ago. Um, you can see that my menu is here. We've moved it. And so when I export, it's going to take up this position. So as I export, I'm just pointing that out simply because of, um, so now the menu has synced itself down here. I'm just pointing that out because in the very early stages of setting things up as a new player, it's explained to you that you should put this over an action bar, hit sync on, on the title bar here, and then hit save all menu positions in the in-game GUI. 
And that will save your menu positions for this character set only, but when you start creating more character sets, you realize that those settings, they don't carry over. So that's why you would assign a starting position in IS Boxer so that all of your uh, character sets that you make have the same starting position and you're not trying to screw around with the in-game GUI. So <clears throat> now that we're here, now when I click this, we are going to send a click. We're going to send a mouse click and that's going to be that. So we're going to do the proper spell this time, right? We're going to do the proper spell. And uh, do a little summon action just to show that that works. Now what you can see is if I drag this up here real fast, if I drag this to the top of the screen, just watch, just watch up here. Just watch all the way up here on this guy's screen. Because as I click this, you're going to see, if you can hear me clicking the mouse, you can see that the sync is happening and the click is going through. That's actually where he's clicking. He's clicking on that window. He's clicking way up there. Obviously, there's nothing up there. That's why these particular menus, when you convert them to mouse clicks, they definitely need to be over an action bar for them to work, right? Whereas the standard ones that send a keystroke don't actually need to be over the action bar because they're just sending a keystroke. So that's just a basic click. But what if you want to have your assist in there? What if you want to have that auto interact in there? What if you want to have that stuff in there? Well, we need to make some changes then. We need to add some stuff. So the easiest way to do this here, probably I'm just going to create another mapped key. Well, Let's do it this way. So from Combat Broadcast, it's already got all this stuff in here. We want the auto interact, we want the auto assist, and we want to keep those. So we're just going to copy these actions. Just right click on actions, copy actions to clipboard. So now we've got these, these three copied. We're going to come back into custom hotkeys where I set the overlay mouse click up. I'm going to go ahead and create a new mapped key. We're just going to go overlay mouse click plus assist. Um, that's fine. Come into step one again, right click paste actions from clipboard. So now we've got the same actions. We can go ahead and delete this one keystroke and we can come in here. <laughs> it's all about kind of trying to save time instead of recreating everything. You can keep recreating things if you want, but I like to come into these. I've already configured this, right? So I might as well just take these actions, copy these to clipboard, come back into this and then paste actions from clipboard. So now we've got an auto assist me. If you've got that configured, it'll go off. An auto interact, if you've got that configured, it'll go off. A sync cursor and a mouse click. And that's going to work um, just how it's laid out. Unfortunately, some games don't really like all these commands being sent to them at the same time. So you might have to break them up. And so if you have to break them up, you're going to run a right click on the step, copy the steps to the clipboard, right click on steps, Go to paste stuff from clipboard. Now we have two steps. You may need to make more than two steps. I don't really know. Different games accept things a little differently. So you may have to do this. You may have to, um, let's see. For, so for mouse one, this is just an example. So for mouse one, we're going to send, um, we're going to send the auto assist and auto interact. So we're going to delete the other two out of there. We're going to come into step two. We're going to delete the auto assist and the auto interact. So step one, we'll do auto assist, auto interact. And step two is going to sync the cursor and send mouse one. You can have the sync cursor in the first step. Doesn't matter. Um, if this is too much for your game, you may have to then continue to break this up. So this might be a uh, paste step. Let's actually clear these. Let's clear all this and just give another example. So paste step. We're going to paste four steps in here. So we may have to just do like auto assist and then an auto interact, and then maybe like a sync cursor and a mouse one. And then because we're going to set this mapped key to be pressed or released. So when you press or release, you always have an even number of steps, right? You can't have an odd number of presses and releases. That's either a press, the press and the release, they come together. So it's always two things. So when you create something that's pressed or released, if you don't create an even number of steps, then you're going to have some weird kind of overlap between your steps, right? So if I made only three steps on the final release, it would wrap back around to step one. I don't want that. So we make a blank step four that does nothing. So on press, first press, we'll do an assist. On first release, we'll do an interact. First press again, we'll do a sync mouse cursor and a mouse one. And then on the final release, it'll do nothing. 
but that'll make it so that's an even press and release, press and release. And you may have to set it up like this depending on your game. Now, most games don't have an interact, so that's pretty much just a World of Warcraft thing for the most part, I would say. Um, so generally speaking, you probably don't have to worry about the interact. But the auto assist may not always be able to be combined with the mouse one. It might get kind of tied up and confused. Again, depends on the game. I don't know all the ins and outs of every single game, the way they all handle input. But that is how you would break that up. And of course, then if you configured it this way in just a single step and you're like, whoops, I need to go back and change this, right? So you just go back into your um, standard menu, your mouse click button set, and just come in here. And instead of using mouse uh, overlay mouse click, you change this to your overlay mouse click and assist or whatever other multi-step uh, map key you had. But that's it. That's how you do that. That's how you integrate assist and interact into your mouse clicks as well. That's how you send simple mouse clicks. That's how you convert the standard menus to um, this. And one last thing is that if you, are, if you are using more of the menus, then in addition to just the standard, so if you're using the shift, alt, and control, and you just want to kind of convert those to be the same click through that you've now configured, you've now converted the standard to, just come in here and again, you've just created that new button set. So just assign the button set, right? This is your mouse click button set. Boom, just like that. And maybe, maybe you've got certain things that you don't want the assist to be used on, right? So here we've got the basic mouse click, but maybe on button two, you want the mouse click and assist. So there you go. You can have the different things assigned depending on what you're clicking. You may not always want to send that assist. It may just be a buff or a debuff or a self buff or something like that, right? Or a specific heal that is sending a macro to heal that is hard coded for healing a certain character. You don't want to assist at that point, right? You just want to send the click. So some buttons you might want to send the click. Some buttons you might want to integrate the assist into that as well. But I think that's it for real this time. I think that's it. So um, again, my name is Mirai. Thank you for watching. And I will see you all in the next video.